this hairdo is inspired by Maleficent. Hey everybody, so today I just got back from watching Maleficent a couple hours ago and today that's what we're talking about. And let me just start off by saying, yes, Angelina Jolie's hair is a lot better in that movie than what I have going on right now. But she's the only person that could pretty much play this role. If you have a shot of Angelina Jolie, then you have a shot of Maleficent. And just those cheekbones, girl. The there was really only one person that could play this. And they I do believe the director said that in... There was a piece published online and in one of the reviews when they were making the movie, when they were going into contract for pre-production, they said if she wasn't on board, they weren't going to make it. And... I kind of feel like, yeah, because her voice and her face nails it, but I guess if you, I hate saying that about a movie because if you found someone else with those high cheekbones and with a good voice, you could have still made this movie, y'all. So I just got back from seeing it. It's rated PG and it's about the witch from Sleeping Beauty and it's the same premise. It's just told from the witch's point of view. And I'll say this. In, it's different in the sense that you discover, uh, like, Maleficent's been wronged. So you discover there's a reason why she becomes this evil witch. And throughout the movie, you're kind of cheering for her. The same way you're going to cheer, like, in Neighbors, I was cheering for the frat because the parents were kind of annoying. Well, in this movie, you're cheering for Maleficent because something happens to her. Uh, the king does something to her, and there's a reason why she becomes evil. And in the whole movie, there's this... She has this relationship with Aurora, who's Sleeping Beauty, and it kind of softens her completely. And you don't really... You, you never... Watch the movie and find a part where you actually hate this witch because I didn't hate her at all. Actually, the one thing I didn't like about the movie was when her hair was down, I felt like she was less witchy. <laughs> I actually wanted her hair up the, the whole entire movie because she just gave off that very <gasps> startling features, that very maleficent face. So in that aspect, that was, unfortunately, that was like something so trivial. That was my biggest pet peeve with the movie. Oh, and also, the there's a prince in the movie, and in the movie, I feel like they just threw the prince in because they felt like this is a Disney classic and you have to have a prince, but I don't feel as though, I felt like the, the, introdu the prince's introduction could have been far superior. I feel like he was just thrown in, like if you have extra cheese and you're like, all right, just throw it in the pasta. Kind of like that, kind of like an afterthought. If you're making like Alfredo and you have extra cheese, you're like, all right, just dump it in there. That's kind of like how I feel about the prince. The prince was just a dump in. Aurora's father, the king, he has this war going on with Maleficent and I thought he played a stellar role. And if you're asking me who's really the villain of the movie, I always felt it was him. I, it never came off as her. I felt like Elle Fanning really was Aurora. She's innocent and she's sweet. She was Aurora, but I kind of wanted, I know it sounds stupid, but I kind of wanted someone that almost looked a little bit more like Sleeping Beauty, the animated girl. I feel like the girl in, the actress in Alice in Wonderland would have been stellar for this role because she has that face. But Elle Fanning was fine as an actress. She captured like the innocence if they were going really for the innocence the innocent little bunny girl. Yeah, then I guess she's perfect. I, I still wanted uh, that face to draw me in, so I still vote for Alice in Wonderland Girl. Like I said before in my other video, I want my fairy tales to be either very sugary or very rated X. Kind of, because there's a book about it, uh, there's a very provocative book by Anne Rice, and it's The Claiming of Sleeping Beauty, and in no way is it a Disney movie. It's very sexy, it's, you know, an adult retelling of a Sleeping Beauty, and Sleeping Beauty, as I've heard, is actually based on a very uh, adult story. So I kind of like the extremes. I either like something very G or something very R X rated. So this one being PG, I think it's, it's well done because it's being told from Mal Maleficent in that aspect, but 
and I liked Angelina Jolie playing that role. She sucked me in, but I never felt like she was this horrible person. And I never felt like I, I kind of wanted her to be mean and bad and just like horrible. I kind of wanted her to be horrible. I, I, it's very humanized and they really softened her. So if that's what you're looking for, that's what you're going to get. Uh, in terms of did I enjoy the movie? Yeah, it was it was still cutesy. It's almost as though she's more Aurora and Princessy esque. They they soften her in that aspect, and her relationship with the Moors softens her. And having something having the king do something horrible to her again softens her. So she's she's kind of like a, a softened witch. She's not a soft witch, but she's a softened witch. So did I like it? Yes, because it was cutesy. Did I love it? I'm not going that far, uh, but it was it was doable. And I think uh, Angelina Jolie definitely saves this movie. She's really the only reason to see it and she's the only reason to get the DVD which I still want the DVD because I just want to stare at her and I don't know if that sounds right but it's what I want. So on a scale of one to five Duffies what would I give this? I would give this I'm gonna say three three point nine Duffies. It's good, not great, it's doable, it's watchable. I think kids could watch this. I was reading reviews that said that it wasn't good for kids and I'm like I don't know what you're reading way too much into this. It's definitely doable for kids. It's definitely kid watchable. And I did enjoy it in that aspect. Jolie saves the day. And thanks so much to Skites.com for sending me to the screening. Skites.com is your happy place for all good things. Check them out. So let me know if you're gonna see it. Let me know what you thought of the trailer and let me know if Jolie is your Maleficent. All right, you guys, that's it for me to quote the greatest show on earth. Live long and prosper. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Poke.